Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get the best settings on Dolphin Emulator. This is graphics wise, visuals wise. Combined, you're going to need a fairly powerful CPU and GPU to run this because uh, Dolphin is heavily CPU dependent. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is open config. Make sure everything's checked like I have it here. You want to uh, enable dual core, enable idle skipping, and uh, have the CPU emulator set on JIT recompiler. Under audio, you want you generally want DSP HLE text, but some games they don't play well with DSP HLE. There's audio issues and stuff, and um, they'll probably say it under state that you need to use DSP LLE. In that case, switch to DSP LLE, and I would recommend taking this. Um, and checking out if this works. Otherwise, I'd take this, and you're going to have to work with this, but DSP LLE on a separate thread can really boost performance if the game needs DSP LLE. But otherwise, DSP HLE is what you need. That'll work for most games. On GameCube, uh, make sure Skip BIOS is checked. It's very major, but... Anyways, now on graphics, make sure the back end is set to OpenGL. Make sure your full screen resolution is um, what your monitor resolution is. Aspect ratio, I like 460 by 9, how I like it. Um, really up to you how you want it. VSync, you shouldn't check this if you're not running full speed. Um, but otherwise, uh, it's up to you if you want this. It just eliminates tearing when the image changes on the monitor by synchronizing the frame rate with the monitor refresh rate. Under other, I would suggest checking show FPS on first run, on uh, your first run. Uh, that way you can check if your game's running full speed with the settings you have. Um, on games like Super Mario Sunshine, it's going to be six, uh, 30 FPS. And on games like Call of Duty Finest Hour, it's going to be 60 FPS. I know Luigi's Mansion is also 30 FPS, except in Cubsy. Next, under enhancements, you want uh, to set the internal resolution at four times. Uh, keep in mind, if you can't uh, make full speed with these settings, this is the first thing you should hit. Unless you, uh, of course, have the CPU bottleneck, which you can probably notice if you, uh, you're, you open Task Manager and uh, you're running 50% on a uh, quad core or 100% on a dual core. That might mean uh, your bottleneck's the CPU, and if changing this lower doesn't help, then uh, your bottleneck's the CPU, and there's not much you can do short of overclocking. But anyways, have this as high as you can go. Anti-aliasing, don't touch that, because it causes some real problems in games, and doesn't improve the visuals that much. Um, Anti-stropic filtering on 16 times. Make sure scale DFB is checked, force texture filtering is checked. Under hacks, make sure you have everything like I have it. And uh, some games might have to be set to RAM to work properly. Again, you'll see this uh, if you uh, mouse over the state. Of course, when you exit out of this config. Um, and it, you'll have to set it to RAM in that case. Advanced, there's nothing here. And um, that's about it. I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching.